In South Sound, it mm -hmm. snowed just a little bit. Nothing yeah. really stuck around, so right. it, was, it just it was really particular. Yeah, the, the conversion zone set up right yeah. over Snohomish yep. County, northern King County. That's where those totals were eight, nine inches of snowfall. It's incredible. Well, so you get much. to 500 feet up there. So. Yeah, that's true. But then some of the higher elevations, like Cougar Tiger Mountain, they didn't yeah. get hardly anything. I know. That's yeah. You're right. Even yeah. Muckleteo, closer to the water, got um, there was one report that had almost four inches in Muckleteo. So yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. What's conversion next? Zone. That's the big question. Tonight, the cold okay. is going to yeah. be the big story. Wind chill advisory now posted Bellingham Blaine uh, yeah this is going to be until 11 o'clock tomorrow morning Joyce Greg everybody at home look at this wind chill values 5 to 10 below zero tonight through tomorrow morning prepare uh, winter weather advisory for the lowlands until 10 p.m. for about another inch of snow or so it's all the blue you see here the cascades also and this is going to be till midnight adding another one to two inches of course we have gale warnings over the waters we have small craft advisories over the waters the wind is going to be a major concern for us as we go into the next storm that's coming through Wind speeds right now, boy, just shooting right through the Fraser Valley. We've got uh, Bellingham, 18 mile per hour sustained winds. It feels like two degrees there. That's the wind chill factor. So you can see how those numbers are just going to be really, really cold tonight. The white that you see is going to be the snow. I've taken the satellite away. I usually show you a radar and satellite. I took the satellite away because that's always where the cloud cover is, but I'm leaving the only the radar. So we're looking for precipitation. The white is, of course, the snow. Green? Nah. This is all snow, snow event. Uh, we have a little bit of uh, rain snow mix closer to the coast. Raymond, Aberdeen, same story for you there. Uh, boy, Port Angeles, Crescent, you get uh, a snow along Highway 101. A little bit of energy coming through this evening, and that'll give us some flurries tonight through tomorrow. Tomorrow at 8 o'clock, you'll see some flurries again about an inch. So this looks very impressive, but the uh, numbers are going to be closer to an inch. Even the mountains tomorrow, one to four inches of snow in the mountains. 11 p.m., you see scattered showers up to the north. We get a break Wednesday morning or a very short break. And then by the evening, the next one comes in. Here's the next storm. This is going to be 6 p.m. So the commute home is when we see the snow coming down. This is 11 p.m. You got more snow coming down. You got rain along the coast. And then the wind is going to be the second part of this story. Northeast winds. Look at these. So this is 2 o'clock on Wednesday. Sustained. Uh, we're going to see 15 to 20. Those gusts here, 25 to 30. Look at Bellingham, 45 mile per hour gusts. Now we're going to go through Wednesday, 9 p.m. Look at all the red firing up. Those are those wind gusts, 45 to 55 miles per hour. And then by the time we get into Thursday, 530, still pretty windy out there. So that's going to be a big concern. Tonight, look at these overnight lows, teens and 20s. Here is your seven day forecast. Very cold air for a couple of days. Greg Joyce, it looks like by the end of the week, we finally turn this back into a rain event for us. Bye.